Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can rename fields in a script without losing the values we have set in the inspector. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to click like and subscribe, and if you'd like to support our work and get access to the source code, you can find us on Patreon. Right, we have a simple scene with a single cube. The cube has a script attached, which allows us to set the rotation speed. We'll set this to 90 and play the game. The cube spins around at the speed we specified. Let's stop the game and have a look at the script. It has a public field for the rotation speed, which is used to rotate the object in the update method. Let's say we wanted to rename this field. We can right click on the field and select Rename. We'll rename it to Rotation Amount. You can see it has renamed all the references to this field. Let's save this and switch back to Unity. If we press play now, the cube doesn't rotate. This is because renaming the field caused us to lose the value we'd entered in the inspector. At the moment, Unity has no idea that our rotation amount used to be called rotation speed. Let's stop the game and set the rotation amount to 100. Now, when we press play, the cube rotates again. In this simple scene, it's not the end of the world to enter the value again, but if we had several objects using this script, it could be a real problem. Let's switch back to the script to see how we can prevent this happening. So we don't lose the value, we need to tell Unity what this field used to be called. We can do this with the formally serialized as attribute. We need to add a using statement for Unity Engine serialization. Before we rename the field again, we'll add the formally serialized as attribute to the field. And we'll specify that the field used to be called rotation amount. Now we'll rename the field to rotation rate. Let's save this script and switch back to Unity. Now we can see that the value hasn't been lost in the inspector. And if we play the game, the cube will still rotate. Okay, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks, guys.